Hi guys, welcome to Yoga Rocks. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a core based practice. I love a core based practice. Um, so we're going to start with a little bit of work on the floor. Then we're going to move into our sun salutations. We're going to do a little bit of balancing stuff. Eventually moving into crow pose, Bakasana. Um, but don't worry if you can't do it, it's absolutely fine. It's not about that. It's about building that core strength and that awareness of engaging the core and then taking that into our balances the more connected we are to our core the easier it is to balance so that's really the main principle um but we'll have we'll have fun we'll play around with it so let's begin on our mats if you've got a block that's amazing if you've not don't worry about it so beginning on our backs So we're going to start by let's just take a breath, inhaling, exhaling. Feel the body on the mat, relax the shoulders, feel the air on the feet. On the hands, soften the face, feel the inhale and the exhale, feel the air going in through the rings of your nostrils and as you exhale feel the shoulders melting down. This time as you inhale, suck in and up on the abdominals. Exhale, maintain that engagement. So we're starting to connect with the banders. Inhale, lift up on the pelvic floor. Exhale. If you haven't already, place your block in between your thighs lengthways. If you've not got a block, that's okay. What I want you to do to begin with now is just actively press down as intensely as you can the lower back into the mat so there's no gap. Then place your fingers on the lower abdominals and feel that they're really nice and engaged. Staying here, maintaining that pressing down of the lower back and the engagement of the abdominals. At the same time, squeeze the legs together. Two. Three. Keep pressing the back down, keep those abdominals engaged, squeeze the block, four. Five. Exhale, release the block if you've got one. Let the knees fall together, just take a breath. Let's repeat that. So place the block back in. Begin by pressing that lower back into the mat. Abdominals engaged, blocks being squeezed. Go harder this time. Breathe one, two, three, Keep pressing that lower back down even harder. Four. Last one, squeeze. Five, release, keep the block where it is. See how much, we don't have to do much movement, but by really tuning in and doing detailed work, you can really feel that burn straight away. So same again, lower back presses down, abdominals engage, squeeze the block. Now I just want you to lift the feet a few centimeters from the floor. Keep pressing down through that lower back, no gap. Breathe one, two, three. You might be beginning to shake now. That's okay, four, and five, release. Take one breath. 
Same again, press down, engage the abs, squeeze those thighs, lift the toes, breathe one, two, three, four, keep pressing down, five, release, keep the block where it is, <laughs> take a breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, working hard already, re-engage the banders, lift up on the pelvic floor, squeeze the block, press the lower back down into the mat, engage the core, lift the toes, and this time we're just going to straighten the legs a bit and then draw them back in, trying to maintain that connection with the lower back and the floor, two, keep pressing down, three, don't worry about how much you straighten the legs, it's really about maintaining that core engagement, four, Keep pressing down, five, breathe, take a minute, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, press the lower back down, engage the abdominals, squeeze the block, same again, one, two, no gap three, four, five, hold it there, press the low back down, engage the abs, squeeze the block, hold one, two, three, four, and release, well done. Set your block aside if you've got one, if not, you don't need to worry about that bit. <laughs> okay, now, we're going to do some alternate heel touches, but we're going to take our time. So we're going to inhale, squeeze the abs, press the lower back down into the mat, take the right hand to the outside of the right heel, take the left hand to the outside of the left heel, inhale, center, exhale, touch. Six. Inhale. Ten and release. So we're inhaling in the center, we're pausing, we're pressing down through the lower back. Then as we exhale, we're working those external obliques by heel touching. So let's repeat that one more time. Inhale, come up center. Exhale. Keep that lower back in contact. And release it down, breathe, take a breath. Ah, through the mouth. This time, we're just gonna do some little crunches, but we're really gonna control it. We're gonna stay connected with that core experience. So we're not gonna rush through it. Press the lower back down, abdominals engaged. Inhale up, exhale here. Inhale down, exhale up. Little pause as you come up. Lower back pressing down. Really squeeze the abs. Exhale, 10, hold, press the lower back down, squeeze the abdominals, shoulders away from ears. One, two, three four, five, 
and release. Well done. Breathe in. Exhale through the mouth. I'm really starting to turn everything on now. We've just got a few more. <laughs> cool work. So for this one, you can place your index fingers and your thumbs together, making a little seat with your hands, and then you're just going to place that underneath your bum to protect your lower back. That's optional. It does make it slightly easier, but it's still super hard. Or you can have the hands on the mat if you've got no lower back issues. So we're gonna take the feet, point the toes to the sky, press that lower back down into the mat, engage the core, and then just lift the hips to the sky. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. If you need to stop, that's okay. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Then exhale, just release the legs down, pause, take a breath. The great thing about having a yoga class that you can do over and over again is that you can slowly build up over time. I've got so many classes that I go back to over and over again because I'm building my strength in that area or I'm working towards a certain pose so it's okay don't you know challenge yourself but don't over push yourself so now we're going to do some little circles again you can take that seat with the hands or you can inhale point the toes exhale straight legs as possible coming down then bend the knees draw the toes to the bum lifting up inhale Exhale, take it down. Shoulders away from ears. Try and relax the face. Maybe even smile. Maybe even smile. Enjoy that power that you're feeling, that strength that you're building. Let's just go for three more. Press that lower back down. One. Two. Last one. Three, pause there, scissor the legs. And release, lovely. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale. And again, big deep inhale. Exhale. Rolling over onto your side or cross the legs. Coming up any way that's good for you, we're going to begin our sun salutations. So coming to standing at the front of the mat now. Fix your hair if you need to. Coming to stand at the front of your mat now. We're going to do some modifications on Surya Namaskar A and B to serve our purpose for today. So feet, we're going to begin hip distance apart. Just connect with the body in this new upright position. Feel the core, feel the difference. Lengthen the spine on the inhale, exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, circle the hands, look up. Exhale. Inhaling, lengthen. Exhale, step. Hop or jump the feet back. Coming into plank. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in, come down. Inhaling upward dog. Exhaling downward dog. Now, remember you can always drop your knees when we do the push-up. And you can come into cobra instead of upward dog. 
So just being aware of your body today and taking any modifications. Breathe three. Now inhale, suck the abdominals in and up. Option to jump forward or step the feet forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands down. Now, step the feet into the middle of the mat. And we're just going to practice coming into our warrior three from standing. So just lift that right foot. Engage the core as we have been doing. And just tip forward to whatever feels good for you. Suck that right leg into the core. Left leg's connected. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Opposite side. So connect with the core. Turn it on. Folding forward. Even if you only lift that left foot a few inches, that's okay. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, hop or jump the feet back. Pause. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe. One. Keep those abdominals sucking in and up. Two, three, four, five. Suck the abdominals in and up. Hop, step or jump forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, hands down. Step back, pause. Straight and strong in the left leg, hands together. Lift that right foot. Option to straighten the arms this time. Coming into your version of Warrior Three. Hips are square, hug the legs into the midline. Exhale. Same thing, second side. Connect. Straight and strong in the right leg. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely. Well done. Let's do another round of that. Inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step up or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, breathe. Straight and strong in the arms, shoulders away from the ears. Two. Three. Four, five. Look forward, step, hop, or jump. Fold. Inhale, coming up. Exhale. Hands to heart centre. Find the middle of the mat again. And we'll do another balance. So ground down actively through the left leg. Inhale, lift the right. Exhale, take it back to wherever feels good for you. Breathe one. Exhale, coming back up. Ground down through the right leg. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, coming back. That's great. We're going to do some more sun salutation variations now. So come to the front of the mat. Pause, take a breath. 
exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, energizing the core. Exhale. Inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, hop, or jump the feet back, pause in plank. Then we're going to inhale and just take the hips over to the right, staying there, or placing the left foot on top of the right, and inhale, reach up. Exhale, opposite side, through centre. First of all, taking the twist with both hands down, staying there, or option to lift up. Exhale. Now we're going to chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Step the right foot forward. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, down. Inhale, plank, exhale to the right, option to lift up, exhale, move over to the left, inhale, lift up, and exhale, chaturanga, inhale, exhale, step the left foot forward and come up. Exhale, release. Step the right foot forward, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and inhale. Coming all the way up, look up. Exhale. Well done, we're going to repeat that two more times. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, hop. Or jump the feet back. Pause. Roll over onto the right. Lift up. Exhale. Roll over onto the left. Lift up. Exhale through centre. Chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhale. Take it back. Right foot steps forward. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale, take it down. Rolling over onto the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it down. Rolling over onto the right. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, centre. Chaturanga. Remember, you can always drop the knees. Inhale. But we're building strength in the arms and the shoulders here. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Step the feet forward. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Look up. And exhale, hands through heart centre. Pause, take a breath. Final round. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhaling, lengthen. Exhale, ground the hands, suck the abdominals in and up. Step, hop, or jump back. Rolling over to the right, lift up. Exhale, rolling over onto the left, lift up. Exhale, centre, chaturanga, your version. Inhaling up. Exhaling downward dog, step the right foot forward as you inhale, lift up. Exhale, right foot back. Roll to the left, lift up. Exhale, roll to the right, lift up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale. 
exhale, left foot steps forward, inhale, coming up, lovely, exhale, come back down and drop onto the knees, I'm going to do a little bit of strengthening work in the upper body, now, even if you've been doing your chaturangas with both knees lifted, for this, bring the knees to the floor, spread the fingers really wide, come forward, now, take your right hand and press in between your breasts, right at the heart center and lift that chest up. Maintain that lift. Look forward, lift the feet so the toes touch, then really squeezing the elbows in. Come down, one, come up, two, last one, three, come up. Release, pause, take a breath. We're going to repeat that. It's really good to have that sense that the chest is lifted when we're doing our push-ups and also in your downward dog so you don't collapse into the shoulders. You keep all that area nice and active. So we're going to do that again. So come onto the palms of the hands. Take the left hand this time, push the chest up. Rock forward slightly so the shoulders are above the wrists, maintaining that upward liftment of the chest. Pop those toes up, gaze slightly forward, inhale, exhale, squeeze one, come up, two, come up, squeeze three, pause, hold, you might be shaking, it's okay, then inhale, come back. So we're going to play with um, crow pose now. Bacassana. Um Now, you can take your block if you've got one, or you can get some pillows and some cushions to put in front of the head if that feels better for you, if you feel like you're going to fall forward. Or you can always rest the forehead on the block. That's an option. Um, or you don't even have to come up all the way. You can just play with the idea of taking weight into the hands. So let's have a little look at that. So, let's begin with the feet about hip distance apart. Arms are nice and straight. And we're going to walk the feet forward to so the bums up now and try and sit those knees in the armpits to the inside of those armpits. So, we're not all the way on the outside of the arms. We're not all the way on the inside. We're just perfectly central. Press the hands wide into the mat, arms straight and strong, and then just play with the idea, just feel the weight in the arms. Now, maybe lift the right foot, maybe lift the left, and then let's come back down. Pause, take a breath. Let's repeat that. Connect with the core. To have that sense of hugging in and lifting up, banders are engaged. Focus the mind so you connect in with your balance. Press the hands down, feel the body, the fingertips, the arms, suck the abdominals in and up, play with taking the weight forward, lift one foot, lift the other foot, see if there's some balance there, and then release. Take the elbows to the inside of the legs. Just open up here for a minute. Another full crow pose is with arms completely straight. So I can't do that. So I'm actually doing a modified version. If you can move into it with the arms completely straight, that's great, amazing. Um, but if you're doing any of the modifications, if you've still got both the feet on the floor, you're only lifting one up or you're using blocks in front of you, that's okay. We're all at different stages. So just embrace that. But really now, for our last time, try and really focus in on your experience. Tune into the sensations of the palms of the hands on the mat. Take those legs as high as you can. Just rock the weight forward. Come up onto the toes. Maybe take it back. Connect with the abdominals. Breathe. And 
and release. Well done. Ah, my little mic fell off. Okay, that's great. Well done. Um, we can jump back from there, but we'll do that another day. I think this has been a nice practice and I think we should end our arm work there. So we're now going to come into um, Adha Baddha Padma Paschimottanasana. So we're going to bring the right foot, if it's comfortable for you, up on to that left thigh. If this isn't comfortable, that's okay. Just go ahead, take the right foot to the inside and bring the right hand around and then reach forward. So this is our modification. It's fine. We're still opening the right hip. We're still opening the right shoulder and we're reaching forward, spine nice and long. If the option's there, that foot comes up. We're inhale, we're lengthening through the right sideways. Exhale, option to clasp the toe. Inhale, reach up high with the left hand. And exhale, fold forward. We're not rounding here. We're keeping nice and long in the spine. Breathe one. Two. Soften the gaze. Feel the breath. And the last exhale, melt down a little bit deeper and then release. Mm, you might have a few tingling sensations in the shoulder. Let's change sides. So we're going to bring the left foot in and up to wherever feels good for you. Remember, you've got the option just to place it on the inside. Lift the left hand, take it round to where feels good for you. Inhale, lift up through the right hand and exhale, fold. As you're breathing here, keep drawing the left shoulder back so you're opening through the chest. Breathe. Soften the gaze, focus the mind, feel the sensations in the body. Be present in your yoga practice. When you keep the mind present and focused, you give it an opportunity to rest from all our day-to-day -day thoughts and just allow it to be. As you inhale, lengthen slightly. And as you exhale, release, let go, surrender to gravity. One more breath. Lovely. Release. Ah, observe any sensations. <sighs> this time, we're going to place the right foot up on to the left thigh. Um, you can stay like this. If that's not an option, you can just simply cross the legs. Again, we're just going to go for that twist. We're going to take the right hand around, take the left hand to the outside of the left knee, or you can clasp the thigh, whichever feels more comfortable for you. Whatever position you're in, draw the right shoulder blade onto the back. Really squeeze it in. If you want to come into a fuller version, place the left foot on the thigh and then bring the right foot up so we're in our lotus. Option to reach around and clasp the toe. Wherever you are now, engage that core, lengthen through the spine and twist. Don't over twist the neck. Inhale, breathe. And exhale, twisting from the core. One. Two. Stay long in the spine, three. Draw that right shoulder blade down and back, four. Relax the face, five, and release. Come to centre, feel the difference between the shoulders. <sighs> we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. One side might be more flexible than the other. You will balance out in time. Just come to, again, whatever feels good for you. 
The purpose is to get a nice little twist and to open the shoulders. So whatever you're doing, whatever works for you, that's absolutely fine. I think it's really important to stretch out, open the shoulders after we've worked the arms. Reaching around to wherever feels good for you. Lengthen the spine. Inhale, suck those abdominals in and up. Exhale, twist from the core, drawing that left shoulder blade down and back. Two. Three. Four. And five. Release. Lovely. Let's come down onto our backs now. Um, if you want to stay seated, you can, that's fine. I'm just going to talk you through a little relaxation, whichever feels best for you. But it's really important when you've challenged yourself, when you've energized the body, when you've worked the body, to take a little bit of time to let it rest, to absorb the practice, so you don't go into your day frenzied. You find that little bit of peace and relaxation before you carry on. So wherever you are, take a nice big deep inhale into the space in between the eyebrows. Allow any tension in the face to melt away. Allow a gentle smile to come over the face. And focus on feeling any emotion that you want to take into the rest of your day. That can be a sense of gratitude of joy, of energy, anything that you just want to invite a little bit more of into your day. As you inhale, feel that now, filling your body. And as you exhale, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Inhale, embrace whatever positive emotion you want to feel. And exhale, let go, surrender, feel the ground support you. Inhale, filling yourself up. And exhale, surrendering. Connect with the soles of the feet. Feel the air on the soles of the feet. Relax both of the feet. Connect with the entire right leg. And let the right leg become heavy. Connect with the entire left leg. Let that left leg become heavy. Inhale, breathe into the belly. Reconnect with that positive emotion. And then exhale, let the hips become heavy. Inhale, fill the chest. Exhale, melt the shoulders down into the mat. Inhale, trace the entire right hand and arm. Exhale, relaxing the right hand, the right arm. Inhale, trace all of the left arm, the left hand. Exhale, relax the left arm and the left hand. Inhale. And exhale, feel the weight of the head supported by the ground. Inhale, breathe into that space in between the eyebrows. And as you exhale, let the entire body become heavy, relaxing more than you ever have. Inhale, deep into the belly and chest. Feel that core strength. Exhale, relax. Staying here for as long as you need to. And remembering that you can take that sense of core strength and balance off the mat. So whenever you're feeling stressed and off center, just take a minute to reconnect with the banders, to feel that core, the length in the spine and the balance that comes from connecting to that deep inner strength. Well done, great practice. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.